The Ashafria one was released by Nokia as part of the entry level and easy to operate devices. It's a great phone for users looking to use a traditional design and also want an easy layout. With a 2.4 inch display, expandable memory of up to 32GB and a free megapixel camera, it's a perfect phone for people looking for a simple style of handset. Who would want it? People looking for an easy to use phone, people looking to complement their smartphone on long days out due to the battery life, looking for a cheap backup phone to store for emergencies or maybe even given to their younger generation as their first mobile phone. It also comes in a variety of colours such as blue, black, yellow, red and white. Straight out of the box we get a first look at the traditional design that we've become accustomed to on many Nokia handsets. We then have a 3-pin UK wall adapter, a pair of Nokia earphones, a short menu and also the removable battery with a staggering standby time of up to 39 days. The Nokia Asher 301 uses a normal size SIM card which is easily slotted into the phone by unclipping the back cover on the top removing the battery where you will then find the SIM card tray. Next, just lift up the SIM card holder and slot the card in. Once that is in place, lock the holder back in, insert the battery, put the removable back cover back on, boot up the handset and you're ready to go. Weighing only 100 grams and having a 2.4 inch display, the handset still provides a quality feel and design. There are no physical buttons and other signs, but you do have the SD card slot on the left hand side, a charging port on top and also the headphone jack. The Asher 301 is an extremely capable device. It has a lot of the same applications that can also be seen on the touchscreen handset. We can access the store, Facebook, YouTube, WhatsApp, email, and also the internet. It also features a new shortcut keys on the main pad. Click and right goes your calendar, where you can select different views and layouts. Click and left takes you straight to your messaging. From here, you can create new text, insert pictures and or smileys. We also have quick access to our music application and also the FM radio to listen to on the go. Taking a look over the menu, we have access to the rest of the applications such as video, chat and settings. The web browser works extremely well despite having just the 2.4 inch display. It was snappy and responsive. A few settings are available such as creating bookmarks and sharing web pages. Moving on to the settings, we have the capability to choose between just 2G, just 3G or combine both together to create the dual mode network. You can also change the theme on the device to a colour that suits you. This has a more personal and creative design on the handset for people using the phone. This has been an unboxing and quick tour over the Nokia Asha 301. If today's video helped you out or you enjoyed it, be sure to click that thumbs up button below. Also, leave any questions you have in the comment box. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be notified when the latest tech video is out. I'm Sam from OneCom and I'll see you all in the next video.